this time, I would like to invite the class of 2012 speaker, Ms. Stephanie Gagnon. Ago, we entered the halls of Westford Academy 400 strong, brimming with the possibilities of what the future was to bring. We were nervous, we were excited, and I, for one, was terrified. To our ninth grade minds, graduation was a word tossed around by those much older than us, something we looked forward to and even dreamed of, but never expected to actually reach. Yet here we are, living out that dream. In my first year at WA, I had this phenomenal history teacher who taught me much more than just the rise and fall of Rome. He would begin his class each day with a broad question to get us thinking, he said. We would talk about everything from ancient religions to ethics to current events. As the year went on and the rest of our lives loomed ever closer, he shared a few words of wisdom to prepare us for what was to come. He said, if you live in a barrel, the whole world looks the same. Well, at first those words meant little to me. I soon began to understand. We needed to expand our horizons, to branch out, to try to see the world from others' eyes. We needed to embrace the world around us. It was during our time here at WA that we grew the most, both inside and outside of its halls. We watched the changes taking place around us, countless teachers retired, the bus lobby was renamed, the half-day schedule was completely scrambled, and this athletic field became a brand new turf field. The United States of America elected its first African-American president as countries in the Middle East began to fight for their freedom. We saw news on TV of the deaths of Michael Jackson and Steve Jobs, but watched from our iPhones and iPads the birth of new ideas and innovations from the power of the people. These times have been tragic, but also empowering and inspiring. And while all of these things are happening in the world around us, they echoed the changes that were taking place within us. We were growing up. We had to deal with loss, with heartbreak, with shame and anger. We've made countless mistakes and said countless apologies. We've learned lessons in the classroom, on the field, and in our social circles. Though the past four years have been only a fraction of our lives, these lessons will remain with us as long as we live. But there is no way we could be here without the help of some extraordinary people. Mr. Antonelli, our principal, Mr. Parent, our dean, Ms. Henderson and Mrs. Benactar, our class advisors, our guidance counselors who answered our trillions of questions and walked us through the entire college process, our incredible <coughs> teachers, whose value we do not even now fully understand, our friends, and probably most importantly of all, our families. Without the support of our parents, who would stay up late with us to proofread our essays, who would drive us to soccer practice or music lessons or school dances or to the movies, who pushed us to be the best we could be, giving us encouragement and maybe even a little tough love. Without these very special people, we would surely not have made it here today. When I was a freshman, I remember looking at a table of seniors in the cafeteria and wondering how they could bear the fact that they would soon be leaving their friends, this school and this town. I could barely believe that in just a few short years, I would be one of those seniors. But here I am, here we are, ready to face whatever the world has to throw at us. In the past four years, we've been equipped with hammers and nails to build our futures, and swords and shields to fight anything that stands in our way. We've been given the tools to live out our dreams. So here's to us. Here's to all the laughter and all the tears. To all the strength to overcome all of our fears. Here's to the mistakes that we've made and the troubles we've faced. And here's to our growth, to everything we've learned, to the beautiful people we've become. Here's to the class of 2012. <laughs> <laughs> 